Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is Triple A Security Framework and its application, Radius. Triple A stands for Authentication, Authorization, and Accounting. It is a fundamental security framework for controlling a user's access to a network, determining access levels or users' privileges based on policies and user identity, and keeping track of the user activities. Authentication is the first component of Triple A. Suppose you are the user; it basically asks. Who are you? You need some credentials, normally username and a password, to verify your identity. After your identity is verified, you will be granted with some privileges, and this is the second component of Triple A framework: authorization. It is about what you can do. The privileges. Can include what kinds of resources or services you can access, what tasks you can perform, and how long you can use these resources. Accounting is the third component of Triple A framework. It keeps track of your log activities, which may include what resources you used, and how much you used, and how long you used, and etc. Data collected at this stage could be used for controlling, monitoring, billing, statistics, and so on. Radius uses a triple A framework. Radius stands for Remote Authentication Dial-in User Service. It is a client-server protocol and a system that enables a network access server or NAS. To communicate with a central server to authenticate dial-in users, authorize their access to the network, and keeps track of their activities. In Radius, NAS is a connecting point between the user and Triple A servers. NAS can be remote access server for remote users or a WAP for local wireless users. The word "remote" in Radius is quite misleading. Radius is not just for remote users, as its name suggests, but it can be used for local users. For local users, it can be through wireless or wired connection. In next several minutes, I will use an example to demonstrate how Radius works for local user. Using wireless connection (WAP) or wireless access point. Here is the scenario: A user wants to access a local network. In Radius system, his device is called a supplicant. The WAP is called Radius Client, a middleman between user and Triple A servers. Step one, authentication request. The user contacts the WAP and requests permission to access the network with his user ID and password. Notice only his password is encrypted. Step two, the WAP contacts the Radius server to say if the user exists in the Radius server database as a valid user. Step three, the Radius server checks the database against his credentials. Once he is verified, the Radius server sends a package back to the WAP with access permission, session, and certain privileges. And this is step four. Step five is related to the accounting component of Triple A. The accounting database creates a record of a user and keeps track of all his activities during his session. Step six: the WAP passes the packet to the user. 
Now he can access and use network resources until he logs out, or when his session is expired. In summary, Radius is a triple A security framework designed for both local and remote users. It is used to provide centralized access to a network. Radius allows a company to maintain user profiles in a central database that all remote servers can share. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.